hot, 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 hot. Today, we're going to do a little bit of Wolverining, John Byrne style. Cue the intro. So what I'm doing here today is putting Wolverine in that John Byrne pose, which means I'm going to have to keep going back and looking at that and referencing that and all that good stuff to make sure it's just right. Obviously, I don't have the face sculpt for it, but the rest, I'm going to do what I can to make it look perfect. But what we're adding whoo, are those guys. Now, if you've been watching for a bit, you know these are my favorite troop builders, and I thought, well, let's do the John Byrne pose, but let's give Wolverine some baddies to throw down with while he's posing up a storm, as the kids stay, or say. Stay. So the first thing I'm actually going to do for this shot is set these guys up with a few in the background, as if Wolverine's already been the best there is at what he does with them, and then kind of hunting down the others as they're running away, because anybody being chased by a crazy dude with adamantium claws should probably run away. So let's get this bad boy started. <laughs> Now it's time to work on that burn pose. Alright, now we've got Wolvie all John burned up and ready to attack him, some Cobra Troopers. This makes me kind of happy. One last thing that I need to do is, well, I suppose, add some happy blood. Yeah. Don't really know where all it's going yet, but I'll figure it out. So there's a touch of the happy blood there right under that guy who's down. And then you've got some dripping from his head, the guy in the dumpster, and some kind of dripping from the dumpster, which really is dripping from him. Now, this is blood you might not even see in the image. You might not, but it's there in case you see enough of them where it kind of necessitates it. And now, here's what the final posing looks like. Yes, that's putty. Everybody enjoy the putty. Putty's all over the place. And that's a spawn stand because it fits perfectly in these classified figures' feet. So there's more putty there. That guy was basically a pain, so I had to putty the crap out of him. We got that, we got that. This here I was able to cover with this guy, so there's a lot less Photoshopping to do than I thought. In fact, I'll just have to basically copy and paste this into a dim an image that I already have with a logo, and I'll be done. You got those guys. I added a Cobra Trooper just to fill in the background a little bit. And this guy, all that good stuff. So the next thing to check out is lighting. Right, let's do this. 
Okay, I suppose that's me practicing for my Dreadnought impression for whenever those guys get released. So, I figured I'd better show you the light setup. Here's just a nice white Neewer light, so the Wolverine's got some actual color on them. Here's a nice blue Neewer gel inside that light. By the way, I did a review on these things, so I'll put the link in the description. Click on that, check it out. And that way you've got some nice blues in the background and everything, so it looks kind of a little more like a nighttime scene. I've got a screen light coming off my iPad. There's not tons of light coming off there, but there is just enough to add a little bit of white. I've got the reflector, which is bouncing a little bit of the blue off of here onto these boys. Just a touch, not much. Oh, yay rhyming. And then when I shoot this thing, I'm going to put my phone down there with some light popping up on this guy, just so the foreground isn't entirely black. So there you have it. I'm going to take that shot, and the next thing you see is me playing in Photoshop. Here the pick is, getting all set up for Photoshop. I think it looks pretty good. I might make some adjustments, nothing too crazy, I don't think. I might give it more of a movie look sort of deal. Here's all this stuff off to the side. This is kind of the start here. This is a little bit of Lightroom action going on for you. I don't need to mess with the color temperature or the tent. I think the exposure is fine. Hmm, contrast could be a little bit of fun to play with, but that's something I'll probably play more with inside Photoshop itself. Nothing really going on great with highlights. Clarity is a fun one to play with, except if you overdo it, check that out. I, that gets frightening. You don't want to mess with that too much. Really, what I want to mess with, though, is I want to mess with the distortion. Just in case here. Okay. I use a cannon, so let's see. It looks like it messed with it a little bit for me. We can do all kinds of crazy stuff here. Lighter or darker along the edges, no big deal. And we can go a little more, make Wolverine look like he's really popping forward or leaving him back a bit. I kind of like that, but I also sort of like the flat. Let's do it this way. Let's pop him forward quite a bit. I like it. We'll go with that. Now we'll open the image. You can see I was working on something there already. Okay. We've got all this good to go. Now I'm going to open another image, just a recent file I've got. Because, let's see, ooh, the Batman and Violator pick. Or the Cyclops. Let's open yesterday's Cyclops pick. Because all I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to paste it in place right here, get rid of the Cyclops layer, and I'll rename this. And the reason I do that is just so I don't always have to place the Toy Picks logo everywhere that this stuff shows up on. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. I don't, uh, I don't hate the pick. That's always a bonus. So let's just try and give it a touch of a cinematic look. I don't want to play too long in Photoshop, like I said. I've done this before, where you go to an adjustment layer, curves, adjustment layer, and now what I'll do is in the light areas, I will hold down Alt. I will click on a light area here. You don't want it to be totally white because that would hose things. And I will push up just a bit on the mouse. Okay, and now you want to find a darker area that, again, is not totally black, but it's fairly dark. That's kind of tough on this one. There's a lot of, uh, this might work right in here, this guy. And now if you drag it down, do the same thing, click, hold down Alt, drag it down, and you're going to get, <laughs> that didn't work. Apparently that was too dark. Let's try this spot. Now hold down, and you get a little bit of cyan. Ooh, I kind of like how that looks, actually. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want to give it the orange look, you go to blue because yellow is the other half of this. It's kind of the opposite of blue, and you find that light spot again that you used before. 
push alt click on the mouse and drag down just a little bit maybe back up just a hair because you don't want it to go totally green on you and now you can just play a little bit just grab where you already made that adjustment make it a little more red make it a little more cyan if you'd like I don't want to go too cyan because what's happening is I'm losing the browns. Let's go back here. And now if the dot here, let's bring this in the middle so you see. If this dot right here were above this center line, it would be moving in blue. But because it's below it, it's moving more in the yellow space. So let's grab that dot. And drag it down into yellow. Yeah, see, I want to be careful. I don't want to go too green on this. I want to go, let's go up here where it's a little lighter. Just some subtle adjustments. Okay, so there we go. Now I'll show you what it looks like if we hide this curves adjustment layer. Boom. Versus with, without, with. So you can see just a real minor change in Photoshop does make a little bit of a difference. Now I'm going to play with a levels adjustment layer and levels again. It takes the darks in the picture and makes them darker and takes the lights and makes them lighter. I'm more going to concentrate on the darks, I think, because it is Wolverine thrown down after all. He's kind of a dark character, a scary guy. You don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, you get things like that, which could be kind of fun, I suppose. I don't want to overdo it. I mean. If you're playing in Photoshop, do whatever you want. Just play. Have some fun. And now we'll try this light area. Yeah, I don't think I really need to do much in the light area. And now I'm going to try one more thing, and then this bad boy will be about done. I'm going to create a new layer right above the bottom layer, which again is layer 59 because I keep copying and pasting into all these others and all these older files. And I'm going to just add... A little bit of a vignette around the borders so it focuses it'll draw your eye so it for sure focuses more on the middle which it should do anyway because Wolverine is so brightly colored compared to his adversaries but it's just something to make it look a little cooler now this is a color picker so I'm grabbing this and I'm gonna grab a color that's in the image it's dark-ish. Let's grab this kind of a cyan, greenish, bluish color right on the trash bag here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab right around Wolverine. I'm going to create this circle. Move it up a bit. All I'm doing to move this up, I made the selection and I'm just pushing the up arrows. And now I'm pushing the left arrow. And when we get pretty close here, now let's select inverse. And now because I had the, I have this feather, look in the upper left hand corner where you see the arrow circling there. I have that feather set at 255, which means it's going to be real gradual going out to the edge. It's going to be a big time feather. So now we're going to fill with the foreground color. And you can see that really makes Wolverine stand out. I think that looks good, actually. We're still going to play because I can't help myself. There's what happens if we use multiply. And let's look at overlay. Yeah, I kind of like... Let's see. There's multiply. And there's normal. Hmm. You know what? I think I like normal more. But what I can do also is I can go to multiply and I can bring the opacity down some. So I can kind of hit a nice compromise between normal and multiply. And there we go. I think I've got a pretty fun Wolverine shot there. Whew! All right. Snickety, snickety, bubs and bubbets. And there it is, folks, the completed John Byrne-style Wolverine pick of the day. Going after some G.I. Joe classified Cobra Troopers, because who doesn't love Wolverine going after a good size army? Anywho, you know the drill. Make sure if you're digging the content, you like, comment, subscribe. 
even share this if you're really digging it. But in the comments, let me know if these kinds of tutorials and these kinds of videos are helping you out. Because, well, frankly, that's kind of the point. We all got to get better at this stuff, right? So that's all I got for today. Make sure you're out there having fun and happy snapping. See ya.